got a late start today for this video. Kind of honestly just forgot. And I was also not here until like 2 today. And then I was working on the brute. Speaking of the brute, if you look, here's a mower. No front axle in it. So this kind of just... Yeah. Nothing at all. Other than the steering gear. Because you come in here, there's the brute's front axle. Annihilated. Gone. Destroyed. If I flip it over a little bit, see how it's supposed to be flat and flush? Eee. So that axle failed. And that Craftsman axle, if you look, this has a giant pivot point. Craftsman or AYP axles. Don't. They have a 3 8 carriage bolt that runs to the middle. So I had to do a lot of modification. The root is back. And at the end, I'll throw in a little clip of it driving around. Big Red, still the same. Haven't done anything, but I need to adjust the throttle. The big one got a brand new battery, literally brand new. 23. Other than that, it hasn't changed. Apparently, Butter likes the brute too. The seat is comfortable, uh, but it's a little far forwards. My dad can't even ride it. I'm 5'4, so I can. Yay. Wish I was taller. Anyways, we do have a new drill. So those are gonna be getting drilled out and put in the front. And these are stock six inch tires I have lying around. They were Big Red's original wheels and tires before I swapped them and then swapped them again. But uh, it's level. Perfect. Bolt it in. So, it's probably about 20 minutes later. It's dark out now. I modified the brute. See, now it's the head of the bolt, not the nut. That's not what I did, though. Look. Kind of could see. Maybe from this side, there's more light. Yeah. Huh? Come on. What? Okay, well. You can see now the space is in front and not in the back, so it won't bend as easy. Plus, my steering would only steer a little bit. I mean, that's max lock. That's max lock in that direction. Ugh. That's max lock in the other direction. Still need to do some work then, but uh, it's better. And eventually these need to go. But, uh, I don't know what else I was talking about. But, uh, it's pretty nice. I'm gonna try and turn this thing on, like, pop. <clears throat> there. Some of those buttons are hard to press. But, uh, Look, right? That's how I did it. Just a hole drilled right there. And on the back, too. <laughs> Pretty simple. And there's the pulleys that's been swapped. See, without even pushing anything, it grabs. So I need a different size belt, but I can't return it because it's been used. So, stuck with it for now. And this is still a stock forward neutral reverse transmission. They usually like to blow up, but uh, yeah, it does pretty good. And if you're wondering if there's any difference between the forward neutral reverse transmissions with and without pedals, it depends on the mower, but there are some differences. 
These ones with pedals are the same. They're not hydros. None of them are. That's just four neutral reverse. But um, pretty much some of these with the pedal, most of them with the pedal, have a different transmission case in the back. So there's a bolt and some bushings or bearings running through the case. It's in the back there to run your very dark pulley on. This one's mounted to the frame. Weird. Unique though. And that means any F and R transmission would work in this mode, which is good. I can use any one of them in this. And I think it's like the Peerless 930s and Spicer 4360s that were in some of them rare four wheel steer ones where the case is stronger because it has a hole running through it, like that big for your steering. I believe those cases were stronger than the regular ones. Still not that strong, but you know, not through it explode. He likes moths. But uh yeah, this thing's pretty mean. And if you're wondering what it look like with the 20s on the front, let's find out. Eventually, I would like to upgrade to a cast iron front axle and replace, and if I don't, replace the uh, bushings. Okay, well, it's a little off-center, but, I mean, come on. And I'm thinking, to fit these, I might have to do a hood lift. Right there, put a piece of square tubing coming up to, like, here here and put the that bolt you see down there in that as my pivot bolt and then to support it put some flat strap going down somewhere into the frame here these used to be supported with a bolt running all the way through the frame this new axle because it's different I can't put that in there so it's also needs an oil change I think this might be the original filter I know it's had new oil, but I think this might be the same filter that came with it. Uh, let me put these lights back on up in the hood. But, you know. This I don't even have headlights. That's a cast iron axle on this. It'd probably bolt into that, but the steering's so different. I don't, I don't think it'd work. This thing. Whoa. This thing just got oil changed with the Briggs filter. Makes some cold people mad. But, uh, yeah. This is mainly about the Brute. The Brute getting a new front axle. And those wheels, the reason I'm using them and not its original wheels, it's pitch black out here. I can see just fine, but the phone camera can't. Anyways, this, this is the reason I'm using those wheels. That one, good, holds air. This one, flat. In case you didn't see earlier. <coughs> Come on. Okay, well, this one's annoying. Come on. Well, I can't see it that well, but yeah, can't see it all actually. Oh well. <clears throat> Here's all my wheels. I have some more D-Hub turf tires down there. One goes flat, so I'm not using them. These six inch turf tires, the bushings are the wrong size. The wheelbarrow wheels go flat, and these eight inch wheels don't have wheels on them. One of those goes flat. Sucks, that was like just one. Let me hang my belts back up. And I have this, I might use that to make a front bumper on the Brute sometime. Might could cut that up and use it as some mounts. I might pull bushings out of it, see if I can use them on the grass and the axle. Thinking this could be a bumper. That could be used for something. This, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about to make the hood lift with. I don't have any flat strip out here, I don't think, but, uh, yeah. and there's another one there. Woolly worms in there, too. If you don't call them woolly worms, uh, what's wrong with you? 
You can't see him, but there's a cat right there in front of you. And you can't turn the flashlight on while you're filming. You have to turn it on before you start filming. Yay. Apple, why would you do that? I'm thinking about getting a new phone soon. Let me put these wrenches up. What's that cat doing? And I was kind of thinking about getting another mower similar to this and slamming it, slam the transaxle onto the frame, trim the fenders, use probably that opposed to win on it with the governor, run a five on the engine, and because it's slammed, the pulley will be higher up on it, not down low, it will be higher. Run a jack shaft right there, so a five to a three on the bottom of the jack shaft, and use a five eighths jack shaft, so I can use a stock rear transmission pulley on top which is a nine inch back to another three inch. If you're wondering, how big is a nine inch pulley? Yeah, pretty big. And here it is compared to an MST. Huge pulley. That came off the A20 and it got bent. <clears throat> if you're wondering about these transmissions, I don't know what this came out of, probably some kind of Poland or Craftsman. A newer one, because it says 2017 on the sticker. But, uh, this was in big red until it got really, really loud. I heard chunks in it, so I replaced it with one of the same mower. The, uh, axle came off, but on the brute, which is already broken. This hydro, tough torque came out of the big one before I put the 820 in it. These axle bolts came out of the brute, but I swapped them because the ones off of this one have big washers and dust covers, so I put those on, and they're newer. And this came out of an LT-1000. And that LT-1000 was the same one. It had big red engine. Gosh, this thing's dusty. Whoa, you see that? Yeah had the 19 and a half in it. I really, really want to get a pressure lube 46 cubic inch one. Like an IC plus 20 horse or something, but, or maybe a uh, IC diamond 20 horse, but those are incredibly rare. Pressure lube post twins were only like the later ones from like 90, probably like 97 to 01. I've had so many opposed twins, four of them now, and I still have three of them and parts from the fourth one. <laughs> Actually, earlier I was kind of working on this one. I think I'm just going to say screw and bolt the head on without um, changing the gasket. And I didn't even get a head with this, and well, this head I already had from an engine I blew. So that's good. It also needs a flywheel key. Yeah, here's the engine I blew up. 18, I see. I might be getting an post tone with an oil cooler. Super rare engine, so 42 cubic inch. Scott's exclusive, and those came with oil filters on the side. If you're wondering, the filters were, here's the cylinder on it, and they were right down there, and you can't see in the abyss, in the void. They were on the taller side, because there was more room under the cylinder. But it has an oil cooler, so it'd be really good for an off-road engine. If the brute ever explodes, that'd be good. I wonder if in the post one would even fit under this hood. Let's see if a cowling boil. Oh yeah, and that looked pretty cool in there like that. Only if the brute blows up, which I hope, I really hope the brute doesn't explode. Because the brute's a really nice mower. It has like the best seamless on 540cc, 33 cubic inch. I think it was 19 to 21 of the newer style Intex were um, 540s. The, you can tell it's a newer style because it has this style cowling with the weird things on it. And the old ones had four screws on the flywheel. One, two, three, four. 
that held this fan on, these ones, this cap pops off and you have to take the crankshaft bolt out to lift it off. But yeah. And if I do a hood lift, you can see this. I'm not removing that. And I'm probably not gonna keep it the same way. Cause if you're wondering how it works, see it kind of gets real close to the engine. It lets it suck fresh air down through the hood. Really close. So I think what I would do, if I do a hood lift, take some sheet aluminum, we have lying around somewhere, I don't know where, but somewhere have some sheet aluminum and put some self tappers in that to lower it. Probably about that high off the engine. So I don't have my engine getting really hot. There's a reason this engine has a fan on it. It actually came off that hydro up there that has no fan on it. And that was the original shroud from that engine. Just self tappers run into the hood. And if you're wondering what, you probably aren't, but this was the original exhaust tip that would have stuck out to the side. I took it off with four screws that were holding it on because I had to get a bolt out and I couldn't get the impact in there with this. I tried to clock it downwards like that. Then all four screw holes decided to strip out, so no exhaust tip. It's just going to shoot straight out the front. But uh, it's not any louder. It still has a muffler on it. Uh, if it's an overhead valve, keep the muffler on it. It'll damage the valves. Even the flatheads need some back pressure. It's not good for them either. Burn the valves, really. Where did that cat go? Where'd he go? Is that in there? Where did that cat go? Probably disappeared. Like my dad. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, he's up in the house. Where did that cat go? He don't want me to yell at him for not saying bye, I guess. Oh, well. Well, yeah. Uh, leave your ideas in the comments for the brute. It's already been pulley swapped. It's already getting bigger front wheels. Already has really nice mud tires, which I'm not changing. I'm planning on putting a bumper on it. What else do you think I should do? Maybe adjust the steering. Place the bushings. I don't know. Hold up. Is it just me or is that hood sitting not level with the hood? Or, huh? It's not sitting level. Hmm? Maybe the mounts aren't right. Oh well. I might get some aux beams and put in there. That'd be cool. But, uh, I don't know. Leave any ideas for it in comments, I guess. But, uh, yeah. And we do have a drill bit. I think it's this one. Do have a drill bit. Three quarter inch. And for 20 bucks, a nice new corded drill. Whoa. Go in there, grind. Go in there, cord. Anyways, we have the. Uh, handle for it because it's missing the handle. It had the handle for it coming in the mail. I don't know where that cat went, but I uh, found him. Ah. Come here. Get out of the abyss. Boy. Ooh. Say goodbye. Say it. Say it. Say it. I don't know that we'll ever get a goodbye from him. <gasps> well, if you stand up, that means you're saying goodbye. Say it now. Say it. Say it. I swear, he always manages to not say goodbye. Well, I 
guess that is it though. There's like nothing else to talk about. But yeah, give me ideas, leave them down below. That's it for now, I guess. See ya. Back. Let's go up. Definitely better than that broken thing.